plop on down, folks. Have a seat. Thank you for joining us. This is Beverly here. We're in the middle of a war. A war against Kanakta. Kanakta, I've got a soft spot for Kanakta. It's my first county I ever played. And, uh, my favorite. My favorite Irish county. I'm not gonna lie. It's just something about it. It's hills. It's got a beautiful green tree. It's its shield. I just love it. But, you know, we gotta take it over sometime. I caught my young ward, Flannin. <laughs> Flannin? <laughs> Torturing a rat behind the stables today. Oh, do we want him to be cruel? Do we beat it out of him? Do we pray for him? I think... We beat it out of him, folks. We don't want a cruel kid. It's not the worst thing, but... You know, I'd rather not have it. If I'm being honest. With you. And him. So he's coming to me. I got a new steward, huh? He's nine scoot skill. As opposed to six. Yeah, it's my nephew still, my steward. That sounds fine. I don't care what my nephew thinks about me. I'm just getting sick of my nephews, to be honest. Okay. I'm gonna keep asking for territory and stuff. And here comes Denmark to pile on. Dog pile. Why don't you just siege? Yeah, if, there's no way to really tell them what to do, sadly. But, that's fine. Yeah, we win. I'm gonna chase you down. Hopefully, France will siege this territory. France and Denmark. My kinsman is of legal age. Oh, that's fine, dude. That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> He's so distant in my dynasty, it's like, not even relevant, bro. Okay. Where'd you go? Let's see if I can see on the hills. There, I got a glimpse of him. Gonna be Herefordshire? Shropshire? Oh, can we catch him? Yep. We got him. It's not hills, it's plains, good. That's it, we're just crushing him, folks. Crushing him. King Merchad of Mumu is maimed in battle by a valiant foeman. Is this the valiant foeman? Yeah. He's pretty valiant. He's a hunter. Misguided warrior. Depressed. I get it, dude. So, what is maimed? Well, it's health minus two. Martial minus two. Personal combat skill minus four. Sexy people don't like you. Oh, get out of here. Suffer nutrition. So, I'm likely to die sooner now. That's cool. It's fine. No big. And... Yeah. Just get out of this. Get out of the... There we go. Attrition's gone. Oh! And you're back. You're back for more, huh? Just playing ping pong with you. He's dead. The Pope is dead. Ah, uh, there's not white smoke, I guess. I think in Europe, uh, Universalis IV, there's white smoke coming out of Rome when there's a new pope. I'm just gonna stand my troops down. You guys got this. Right? Speed things up. Start making money again sooner. Plus 6.62. There it is! We've won the war. France is up here <laughs> sieging Ireland for me. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's plausible. It's plausible. Yep, that territory is now mine. I have a decent stewardship. I'm just trying to figure out what the realistic Demesna is going to be for me to hold on to. Uh, I hold 46% of Ireland. I need 51. So. Yeah, probably one more county and we'd be able to create the Kingdom of Ireland. How funny is that? Start fabricating a brife and a bud. Oh yeah, I forgot to put my tax player down. 
Remember I took my tax collector off to see, to compare the two counties? This is one of them though. Have they been looted? Yeah. He's been looted by that enemy army, so we're just gonna leave the tax collector in my capital province. It seems appropriate and cool. Oh yeah, no, I just have that new steward. That's why it's not doing anything. Oh, I want those two years to pass so I can get plus one, at least one more demeth now. But then again, you know what? Well, let's do something fun here. You know, I go in the diplomatic mode, and you can see that I'm able to go to war with these two Irish counties, even though I don't have a claim on them or anything. We looked at this. My spymaster is getting old. He's 54, but he has a claim on both of these counties. And that's cool to me. But I think I described this to you. If I... If I declare war on this guy for my spymaster and I win, my spymaster is going to become the Count of Argamalia. Or Ar Ergalia. Ergiala. Ergiala. Ergiala, whatever. It sounds funny. Um, but he's not going to be my vassal, you know? Because he doesn't hold territory right now. He's just my spymaster. It's a titular title. And, um,. Yeah, so what we want to do is we want to make him my vassal, not just my, not just my, like, courtier. Because he could just leave right now and be like, oh, dude, I'm going to go be a count over here, that's cool. But if I give him the stake in my realm and make him my actual vassal, I mean, I've got some extra land. Right? Maybe if I give him one of these, he, uh... He'll be my vassal, and he'll just gain more territory, but still be my vassal, and that's cool. How about if I give him this? Because this... I think that's the right one. I'm just doing this. It's not always a good idea, because... Osrage. We'll give him Osrage. Can no longer my spymaster, huh? He is. Or he can be. He just left for a second. Because he had to go to some ceremony, I guess. Um. Wow. So I got a mayor here. Who has an 18 diplomacy skill. He is just as good as my current blind chancellor. And I want him to like me. So I'm going to put him on my council just for that. That buff. Get you fabricating. Some other people. Some other vassals. Okay, he'd make a better steward than you, and he's a vassal. So we'll put him on our council. Get him collecting taxes. Okay, so everybody on here is my vassal. Cool. Let's get my spy master studying technology. Can I go... Byzantium is kind of, uh... Got the best tech around this time period. Or, uh... Some of the Muslim territories. Baghdad. Pretty decent. But, you know, you've got a diplomatic range. It's just not realistic for my spymaster to go to Baghdad. He's like, he's blading Irish. So, let's look. 15, 18, 18. That's pretty good. Is Rome not that well? Okay. So, yeah, we'll send him to Rome. 16, 18, 18. Study some technology. And now you can see these gears turning. So this is going to go up faster than... I, I, I mean, I could just buy it right now, but it's going to go up a little bit faster on its own because my spy master is studying technology. Oh, plus 0 0.0. Does that just have to update? Let me give that a month. It doesn't look right. It's impulsive. Arbitrary. I'm going to beat it out of you, boy. Tell me... Okay, so my spy master is not giving me any bonus technology. The setting technology. This is a neighbor bonus. Somebody next to me must have better light troop technology than I do. I swear, sometimes. My son! My son, my son. I have two wards. So, one thing. You can only have two... You only teach two kids at once, sadly. This is my second son, I believe. 
well, second of my most recent batch. So, yeah. We're gonna have to have put him being taught by somebody decent. So when you teach, when you send somebody to teach your kid, or, you know, some kid, when they raise them, they have a chance to give them the traits that they have. You know, they take after the people that are around. It's very important life lessons here. So I want to be careful who I have my kids spending all this time with. What kind of person do I want? Well, you'll notice a lot of these are red, and some of these are green. The red ones stand for the seven deadly sins, and the green ones stand for the seven heavenly virtues. It's a... It's a thing. I don't forget who made it. It's like Augustine or something. But, uh, yeah. We want the seven heavenly virtues. This person has a decent number. And he's my nephew. Huh. He's zealous. This is kind of okay, kind of bad. Greedy. I don't know. Some people love zealous because of the military things. But I'm not going to be dealing with other religions, so. And what does it do? Other faith opinion, opposite trade opinion. I guess it's cool. That's fine. One pint a month is cool. Marshall plus two. Church opinion. That's cool. Depressed is bad. But, I don't know. That's kind of genetic. You can tell because it has a heart shape. It's uh, genetic. Passed down. Now, uh, once again, life lessons here, people. Disposition. Some of it's inherited. Okay. Greedy. Greedy is, uh... It's okay. It's one of the different ones, you know? It's like national tax modifier plus 10, diplomacy minus 1. I like tax. That's a sin I couldn't mind having. So, I'm gonna send him this guy. That's cool. I won't normally look at it that closely, because these kids won't be ruling. Like, I've made up... Like, my... I've changed my laws. My son is gonna be ruler. And... These kids are just going to be possible threats to his rule. Possible pretenders to the throne. But, I don't know. I wanted to demonstrate the process. I watched my grandson play with another child yesterday and noticed that he didn't want to share his toys. He needs a lecture on charity, kid. Yeah. Greedy's not terrible. Sometimes I like to give him greedy. But, I don't know. I like. I just like doing the good thing, you know? Maybe it's just me. So let's declare these wars for our spy master. See, now he's got a ring around him. You can tell he's my vassal. He'll stay. These territories, once conquered, will stay in my kingdom. Let's do it, people. After this war, we should have enough territory to make the kingdom of England. And I'm not going to go th full speed ahead, but I don't need to go super slow. Let's park it in the hills. Park my army in the hills. Give it that uh, defensive... Bonus. Not that they're going to come fight a 2,500 stack. Damn. It's right flank. It's just always tiny. Yeah, where are you going? Oh, hills. Oh, France is there. Well, let's help France out then. <laughs> oh, man. This is just overpowered. France and Denmark allied to me. Let's help Lothian out. Beautiful. Marshal Mayor Ruman told me about his ideas. I couldn't really understand what he was talking about, but he was adamant in his belief that it would improve the military. That's very cool. So this is going to give me... Some, I'm sorry, I just have to respond to this quick. I don't like to do this, but sometimes you just gotta. Adopt the martial ideas. I lose eight gold, but military technology spread rate plus 100%. What's military technology spread rate, you're asking? Well, if I go up here, this is showing the technology for this province, my capital province, right? Military technology spread rate is going to give that neighbor bonus it's going to plus 100% so look at this is that going to update 
Never bonus plus 0.2%. Should go up to... What, 0.4%? Or maybe... Other provinces will get it faster. Maybe I'm looking at it the wrong way. Or maybe I didn't see it update, but... Um, it should help... I guess it should help other counties get the technology spread right from my capital faster. Yep. Oh, no, that's my capital. I guess I'm not too sure about the technicalities of that one, which way that spread rate is going. But... Basically, technology... Oh... Basically, technology spreads throughout your territory. You know, like... And... One of the things you can do with research military technology, it increases spread rate throughout your kingdom. So... I think it draws... I forget which... If you want to put them next to the... Put them in the shitty county next to the good county, or if you want to put them in the good county next to the shitty county. But anyway, it helps technology spread. My body may be sapless and infirm, but my mind is as healthy as ever. Infirm. This character's infirm and suffers from a sickly disposition. So, my mind is fine, but I'm old. I'm frail. I'm shitty. I'm gonna die soon. That's what that means. Health minus three. Oh, health minus one. And then health minus two here. So a total of health minus three. I'm not gonna make it much longer, people. I'd like to... I don't know. I don't know if I should save the form of the Kingdom of Ireland for my son. But we're gonna be able to do it with the... Well, I guess we don't have the gold anyway. Stand my army down. My son is a tender and loving soul. Trusting everyone in the castle I fear will get hurt someday. I want him to be kind. He'll be a good kid. So... Oh, no. Why don't you stay in siege, mate? <laughs> Please. I want to make money. Why don't you just siege for me? Oh. Uh. All right. So, if you... As you can see, the army of King Worship will stand on all levies will return home. Due to enemy presence in our homelands, only about half of the troops will return home. So, they're sieging my territories. I can't just go home. Hope. That's too bad. I guess I'll just keep sieging then. Too bad. Well, I think we got this war in the bag still. I was suspecting the damage to the highest tower in Ergiella when the head of Flannan appeared outside the window. Flannan, this is classic Flannan stuff. 50 meters above the ground. What should I do with this curious child? 5% chance he'll become maimed, but 50% chance honest, 35% chance brave. I like to take chances. You know, I like this kid. He reminds me of that, uh, that's... Oh, man. Bran, you know, from Game of Thrones. He became honest. Cool. So, yeah, I was just waiting for the siege to go. Friends finished the siege on... Tyr Og... Blah, 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 blah. What's this county actually called? Like, Tyr Cornell or something? Ah! Oh! There's the death we were talking about. Well, I don't know. Maybe I should leave all this inheritance stuff for the next episode. But... No, let's just jump right into it and see what we get. I have a new heir. So we've passed on to the next generation. My son, a.k.a. me, is now me. The alliance between Denmark is broken down. Right, because my mom is no longer in the family. Oh, because she's not my mom. She's my brother's mom. Well. I don't know. All oh, right, I should be looking at siblings. Yeah. Yep. So she's still alive, and she's still with me. She's not my mother. Yeah, we can't even form a non call non uh, non aggression pact. It's too bad. Oh well, we still got France and the 
Duchy of Lothian. Right? Duchy of Lothian? You're my ally. I suppose I just look at my packs. No, no, no. Me. Oh, no. So, yeah, we're gonna have to renegotiate all my alliances. That's what happens, you know? Times of uh, succession are very uncertain times in the realm. This time in history, as you all know, I'm sure. And we'll start dealing with those problems, tackling those issues when we return. Thanks for watching, everybody.